Hey guys, it's Dan here and I'm showing you a little map I made called, well, it's like a mini game arena. So, yeah, this map is recommended for two players, well not recommended, it's made only for two players. Just one player is also possible, so when you come here, there's a whole bunch of food, you got an iron sword and a bow, you start with a stack of arrows, here's the handbook. You might want to read that because it takes a while, but it takes it doesn't actually take that long to read. But um, what the mini game arena really is is that uh, you just want to first grab your weapons. If there's two players, then uh, one person would get the bow, one person would get the sword, and um, and uh, the second thing is. Okay, the second thing is that uh, if you have a third player, then they're going to have to start off by using fists, and there's only two beds. But you don't really need beds because it changes time by itself, but you might want to sleep in them to set the spawn point because I didn't set the spawn point. And first of all, first you want to go to the enchanting station. If you have a sword or a bow, you want to go to one of these. I want a power over time and greedy class. There's two different classes actually for both. This is the power over time. This is the power over time and greedy class, which I just did. And there's another one that's berserking class, where you do a lot of damage at first, but then it gets weak after you level up and stronger. Because smite, what it actually does is over as if once your experience is higher, the higher, the more experience levels you have, the stronger it is. And now for the bow, there's Ruthless class, which is kind of like the Berserk class, and the Tactician class, which I really like. There's Flame 1 and Infinity. So you can go like, because you can say you have to have some smart tactics. Now, what a little trick I like to do is put those in there first, because you need some experience to uh, use the anvils and enchant your stuff. Now, out here is a little area... It's basically a shop. I just spawned in random testificates and see and saw some pretty good deals. So yeah, you can get an axe, you can get some more food. Food, food. That's that guy sells some armor. This person is a person that will give you the emeralds. And that's actually the only person that will give you emeralds. I made a little wheat farm here and y you can use bones from skeletons to help you farm which is what you use it for to get some emeralds from that guy and then sell to the other people which is what you need and now for the actual thing the arena you go here to the arena it will set it to night time you wait a while I, I just like to stay in the corner because then a whole then more mobs will spawn and uh... yeah you we just wait and there we go our first mob a creeper Here we go. Okay, there we go. He's dead. See, and now that we got some experience, it's good because we can now enchant our things. And we got some gunpowder that's basically useless. And we just wait for more mo and more mobs to spawn. And I heard. Oh no, that's from outside. Now what you can what you can do is that's kind of cheating. It's not that much of cheating actually. Once when you leave the arena, it goes back to daytime. When you come here, since zombies are attracted to attack testificates, actually no zombie really came, but zombies are attracted to attack testificates. So sometimes that once you leave the arena and come here, there'll be some zombies right there. And oh god! Try not to hit a testificate. Experience, damn it. Ah, wha whatever. I don't really need it. And there's also an enchanting place here in case you're, in case the books from the enchanting station get weak. And dang it, why did I come here? If your books from the enchanting station get weak, you can always enchant them from here. But I'm not a high enough level to do so. So let's see if I can use the books now. 
First, I'd want to uh, give a uh, flame to my bow. Let's see if it works. No, it costs three. I don't have enough. So I'm going to need some more experience. And uh, let's say I had some wheat. I could... Um, okay, let's say I farmed... Uh, where is it? Let's say I farmed some wheat. I go out. Dang it. I go out. Come to... This villager, sell him the wheat. Now I got some emeralds. There, you can buy some armor, and some people even, will, yeah, that person also sells a sword, which you can use to enchant. And now I'm just gonna do this. Oh my god. And since I'm in creative mode, I can get infinite, but there we go. Let's pretend I got all that from the arena or threw the bottles down. And, well, actually, since I'm in creative, I can just put it. Game mode zero. So now I can give my bow some flame, and it's now enchanted because of the enchanting books that were added in 1.4.6. So yeah, guys, that was the arena. The um, the download link will be posted in the description. I actually did realize that for Isoland. Um, I actually didn't post it in the description, but now I did. So I'll be sure to post it in the description this time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys later.